is Cutie Mark Featherweight before us. Yeah! Great Cutie Mark Featherweight. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, I give up. I've got it. The answer to all our problems. The full free press? How's the school paper going to get us our cutie marks? <gasps> Move your caboose! Uh-oh, that's Granny Smith. Gotta run. Maybe there's something to this newspaper idea. I guess it's worth a shot. <laughs> Apple Bloom, your newspaper idea was nothing but a big bus. We tried everything from paper mache to making birds' nests, and nothing worked. <laughs> What's so funny? What I meant was we should write for the paper. We can get our cutie marks as journalists. Uh, my little pony, my little pony. Adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Okay, class. See you tomorrow. Oh, for those of you who want to join the newspaper staff, stay here because we're meeting right now. Cutie marks in journalism. Such a good idea. Welcome, every pony. Now, as you know, our editor in chief graduated last year. Oh, 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 oh. Yes? What's an editor in chief? Good question, Sweetie Belle. I like those reporters' instincts. <laughs> The Full Free Press is a student-run paper. I'm only involved as an advisor, so the editor-in-chief is the pony in charge, from choosing the stories to making sure it gets to press on time. Now, as I said, we have a new editor this year. Diamond Tiara? I'll leave you alone now to discuss every pony's assignments. Have fun! All right, listen up. The full free press is a joke. Huh? No pony at this school takes it seriously. Well, I, the editor-in-chief in charge, am going to deliver us to newfound glory. Yay! First things first, where's the staff photographer? Get out there and document everything. Mm -hmm. I'll decide what's important. The rest of you, I want hard-hitting news and interesting think pieces. No more namby-pamby stories like last year's editor. But Namby Pamby was a great editor. Well, there's a new regime now, and I want juicy stories. The juicier, the better. Now get out there and report. Let's get out of here, girls. Maybe we can try packing boxes again. But this could be our last chance to earn our cutie marks. If we really are supposed to be journalists, isn't it worth a little grief? I guess you're right. We can take a little bit of Diamond Tiara for a lifetime of cutie marks. Come on, let's go get those marks. My first story is going to be an exclusive interview. I saw a brand new nest of baby birds the other day. I bet our readers would eat up a sweet story like that. <laughs> Granny Smith has all sorts of great stories. I reckon I'll do a piece on the history of Ponyville. I hope you've got something, because everything so far is unusable. Baby birds born? 
Rarity's hot new hat? Ponyville the early years? Ugh. I don't know what you call this, but it sure isn't news. We just thought... Get something else on my desk by the end of the day, and it better be juicy! Now what? Do you know what I had to do to get that story? Oh, you don't even want to know what I had to sit through. Oh, get it off me, Snails! Yeah, you get it off me, Snips! Ah! Stop it! You are making it worse! Ah, great! I'll get it. Uh, 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 get it off! Get it off! <laughs> hey, Featherby, come here! <laughs> Take a few pictures of this, then meet me during lunch. Girls, I have our story! Snips and snails and bubblegum veils! And that's when the biggest jokester in school really stuck his hoof in it. Literally! The full free press is usually just boring news and stuff. So funny! Our mothers always told us we'd end up in the paper someday. Yeah, and look! We finally got the gum out! <laughs> Your column is a sensation. I don't want you doing news anymore. I want more columns like this. Columns about ponies and their private lives. The things they do when they think they're alone. You three are my new gossip columnists. And I love the way you signed it. Gabby Gums, that was a stroke of genius. We couldn't fit all of our names, so we decided to create one for all three of us. Well, I want more Gabby Gums. Nice work, girls. But we sure seem to have a gift for gossip. If we can write a few more of these Gabby Gums columns, we'll earn our cutie marks for sure! <laughs> Scootaloo, do you have anything? Nope. Apple Bloom? Oh, sorry. Let's face it, nothing very juicy happens at this school. <laughs> We're doomed. Sweetie Belle, was she raised in a barn or something? <gasps> Ooh, you really shouldn't be snooping, Rarity. Oh, but it's so much fun, Rarity. Hello? What's this? <laughs> Come on, there, Pop. <laughs> Too rich. <laughs> Can you please keep it down with all the laughter? I'm trying to. I was just... Are you snooping through my saddlebag? How dare you! Oh, but this Gabby Gums column is so funny! <laughs> you actually like the school paper? It's so much juicier than anything in the boring old Ponyville Express. <gasps> Could I borrow this to show my friends? Your friends would want to read the full free press? Oh, they just love Gabby Gums. Who is she anyway? I've never heard of her before. Is she a new? We gave up too quickly, girls. Forget trying to squeeze stories out of this school. We need to expand. We can find all kinds of great gossip out there in Ponyville. We'll need to tell Featherweight to start working overtime. Sweetie Belle, you're a genius. <laughs> Pound and pumpkin cake, trip to the store ends in tears. Gabby Gums comes through again. The, the, the Ponyville newsstand wants to carry the full free press. Ponies keep coming by and asking for it. Send them 20 copies, and if they run out of those, we'll send them 20 more. You three are doing a great job for this paper. Keep those columns coming. This is great. Oh, this is 
the life, isn't it, girls? The best hoof -a cure I've ever had. You said it. Ah, huh. oh, I don't know if I've ever been so relaxed. You guys! Ah! The new Gabby Gums just came out. The great and powerful Trixie's secrets revealed. We already read that one, Rainbow Dash. Come on, relax. Have a hoof -a cure. It feels amazing. Did you forget who you're talking to? The day I get a hoof -a cure is the day I turn in my Daredevil license. Besides, I haven't read this Gabby Gums yet. Well, do it quietly, will ya? Some of us are trying to unwind. I like Gabby Gums too, but don't you think she can be a little mean? She's not mean, Twilight. She's a hoot. Celestia, just like us? Gabby Gums doesn't value any pony's privacy. Oh, lighten up, Twilight. That's nothing but harmless gossip. Yeah, Twilight, I mean, listen to this one. Mare, not naturally gray. The mare in a mean dying scandal? Who wouldn't want to read that? I just can't help feeling sorry for the ponies featured in her columns. It's got to be a little embarrassing. Are you kidding? Do you know how awesome it is to get your name in the paper? Rainbow, why don't you join me in one of these delicious hoof -a cures It's that good, huh? Well, maybe just one little hoof. Forget it. I don't like ponies touching my hooves. Man, I'd love it if Gabby Gums did a story on me. She did one on me. What? Ah! Exclusive. Local dragon tells all. Spack opens up about Canterlot, Naps, and his fight for jams. It's our best column yet. More like your worst column yet. Gabby Gums didn't become the biggest thing in Ponyville with Nappy Pamby stories like this. Yeah, she's right. This column is a little softer than our usual gossip. Were you guys feeling guilty about all the gossip, too? Like, maybe we could be hurting other ponies' feelings? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything because every pony loves Gabby Gum so much, but I was sort of hoping we could start writing more stories like this one. Me, too. If we're gonna get our cutie marks, we've got to give the ponies what they want. Aww. Applejack, asleep on the job. Can y'all believe this? And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hey does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. Twilight Sparkle, I was a Canterlot snob. A well-placed scaly source close to the prissy pony says Twilight Sparkle thinks Ponyville is nothing but muddy roads and low-class roofs. Spike! <laughs> How could you say such a thing? Well, I didn't! Gabby Gums made that up! I never said anything like that! Every pony, please! She's just a harmless school pony engaged in a little idle gossip. You're really making too big a deal out of this. But it's all lies! Gabby Gums prints whatever she wants. She doesn't care whose reputation she destroys. Fluttershy has tail extensions. Pinkie Pie is an out-of-control party animal. What? It's true! I do have a problem! <laughs> oh, look! According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. We are? Well, my life is officially over. Gabby Gums has made it to Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash, Speed Demon or Super Softy? I grabbed as many copies as I could, but it was too late. I'm a laughing stock. See, Rarity, your so-called harmless gossip can be very hurtful. Honestly, you ponies have no sense of humor. So she tweaks a few ponies every now and then. Maybe they deserve... <gasps> I'll destroy her! The Drama Queen Diaries. She's reprinted my diary! How could Gabby Gum possibly get access to my private diary? We've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Sweetie Belle's on the newspaper staff. Maybe she knows who Gabby Gums is. <gasps> My sister would never associate with someone as beastly as Gabby Gums. I resent you even suggesting such a thing, Twilight. Why, she's the most innocent, most lovely. 
most evil pony in Equestria! How could my own sister steal my private diary? How could my own sister be... Gabby Goats? Gums. You know? How'd you find out? The gilded pages of your betrayal! Oh, yeah. How could you do this to me? You sold my sacred diary and published it for all the world to read! Gossip can be a very hurtful thing. It is an invasion of privacy. Just like when I snooped through your saddlebag. You didn't like that much, did you? No. What is important is that you understand how your column makes the ponies that you're writing about feel. I do understand, and we've all been feeling guilty, but we just want our cutie marks so badly. Do you really think that writing nasty things and making every pony feel horrible is your destiny? Oh, when you put it that way... No! I won't let you quit! But the gossip we've been printing is hurting every pony's feelings. Feelings? I don't care about feelings! Gabby Gums is my bread and butter, and I'm not going to let you goody two horseshoes take that away from me. We're sorry, Diamond Tiara, but we've made our decision. Yeah, you can't force us to keep gossiping. When you see these, you may not want to quit after all. <gasps> I told Featherwood to document everything. That's exactly what he did. <gasps> Give me those! Sorry, girls. Property of the full free press. And if Gabby Gums really does go into retirement, I'll need something to fill that empty column space. Now get out there and bring me more Gabby Gums! We'll find a way out of this, girls. Maybe Rainbow Dash will have a story for us. She's always good for some gossip. Rainbow Dash! Hey, Rainbow Dash! Well, if it isn't Gabby Gums. You heard too, huh? Are you kidding? Every pony in town knows it's you three. Don't suppose you'd let us write a column on you, huh? <laughs> oh, hi, Angel. Is Fluttershy home? <laughs> Hey, what gives? Aha! Twilight thought she might try to show your faces around here, so she put up a force field. Oh, come on, Applejack. You're not mad at us too, are you? Yep. You're not even gonna talk to us? Nope. You should be ashamed of yourself, humiliating your sister and me like that. We don't want to talk to any of y'all right now, so take your little gossip column and your embarrassing photographs and just go away! We've ruined all of our friendships, and we still don't have our cutie marks. This is the worst day ever! Oh, yeah? Wait till tomorrow. Our most embarrassing moments are about to be published for every pony to laugh at. So what do we do? I don't know. But we're not leaving this clubhouse until we think of something. That's it. Gabby Gums is out of time. Run these instead. I want this paper on every street corner in Ponyville. Yes, ma'am. Stop the presses! Uh, they haven't started yet. We have a Gabby Gums column! <sighs> You're lucky I'm nice. This better not happen again, or else. <sighs> well done, Diamond Tiara. You've averted yet another crisis with your amazing diplomatic skills. <gasps> An open letter to Ponyville by Gabby Gums? What is this? 
They're not going to get away with this. I'll publish those photos tomorrow. They mess with the wrong pony. To the citizens of Ponyville, for some time now, you've been reading this column to get the latest dirt and the hottest buzz. But this will be my final piece. We want to apologize for the pain and embarrassment we've caused. You see, I'm actually three little fillies. Sweetie Belle, Apple Bloom, and Scootaloo. As the popularity of our column grew, we got swept up in the hype. We knew that what we were doing didn't feel quite right, but we ignored the guilt because every pony seemed to want to read what we were writing. From now on, we promise to respect every pony else's privacy, and we won't engage in hurtful gossip anymore. All we can do is ask for your forgiveness, Ponyville. Signing off for the very last time, XOXO, Gabby Gums. Well, staff, I guess I gave a little too much authority to a first-time editor. I'm sorry, Diamond Tiara. I have to strip you of your title. <laughs> and for the next editor of the Full Free Press, <laughs> here's your new editor-in-chief, Featherweight! Yeah! <laughs> There you go. I've been promoted to staff photographer. <laughs>